everybody, welcome back. Doing a character review video on Shattered D Shattered Dork? Shattered Star. Shattered Star, sorry, not Shattered Dork. And I was surprised to see that his stats, if you're into those, definitely make him a pretty solid character. Uh, I admit I was kind of just like, eh, this guy's gonna be whatever. But then I looked at the stats and I was like, okay. And I'm streaming and some folks were saying, yeah, and I mean, he's basically equal with a pretty high tier character and has the same ability where it's like, yeah, well, but that character does self heal. Like, yes, yeah, so does Shatterstar. I'm like, okay, I need to love this guy. So anyway, we're gonna go check him out. Abilities, brief match T4, but most importantly, stat stuff. So let's go check it out. So first up here, we got the basic uh, twin blades, attack primary target for 160% damage, bonus attack for 120% damage. If long shot is an ally, bonus attack for 120% damage. The T4s here give an additional 40% of attack primary and an additional 30% on the bonus attack, an additional 30% uh, on the bonus with the long shot. So uh, that's interesting. Attack primary for X damage plus bonus attack. If long shot is an ally, bonus attack for... I'm assuming that's an another bonus attack, so it's a third attack. Um, I don't have them, so I'm not 100% certain on that. But as I read that, it looks like a primary attack, a bonus attack. And if long shot's an ally, there's another bonus attack, which I wish it'd say that, but whatever. T4s are just okay. I'm not really gonna... It doesn't really get me all excited, so... The special ability here, which is one of, you can either use this first turn or the ultimate. We'll see as we read through these. Attack all enemies for 200% piercing plus apply defense down for two turns to primary target. So this isn't, to, you don't get the defense down on everybody. It's just to the primary target. Grant one ability energy to long shot ally. An interesting uh, battery there for something that's on a six turn cooldown to only give one ability energy, but... Hey, this 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 definitely seems very war esque in that regard because you might be like, I want to use this first, give one ability to Longshot, who might say like that lets him do his ultimate, which maybe or maybe not his best ability, and then use that ultimate on the same person with the defense down. But this isn't a Longshot video. This is a Shatterstar video. So the T fours, if I didn't mention it, are additional forty percent damage to all enemies. Again, we'll see on the, how the stats rank up with this guy for damage, but. That, that's not, you know, that's not moving the meter too much for me at the moment. So ultimate, which is the other potential first turn ability, shorter cooldown on this, uh, four attack, uh, four energy cooldown, attack primary target for 310% damage, plus chain to two to three adjacent targets for 270% damage. Counterattack breaks this chain. If long shot is an ally, instead attack all enemies for 310% damage and apply defense up for two turns to self and all X-Factor allies. So the T4 is here before we get into this ability is an additional 40% damage on the primary, guaranteeing the chain to the third target. The adjacent targets take another 40% damage. And then the long, if long shot's an ally, you've got the additional 40% damage. So, okay, so the difference here, if long shot's an ally is instead of attacking primary target and a chain, you attack all enemies and apply defense up for two turns so that's so that really makes you want to use long shot as an ally the other one's not bad where you're attacking the primary and chaining um but counter attack breaks it so you, you're gonna get you know two to three hits there whereas long shot if he's an ally he's gonna attack everybody and you're gonna apply defense up for two turns so depending on this guy's speed how early he can go will determine if i'm using this defense up uh ultimate which is on a short turn cooldown or this potential uh, special where I'm attacking everybody and applying defense down to a primary target. If I want to maybe focus one primary target down, I might choose this special over the ultimate on that first turn. But uh, it, it kind of just depends on, you know, what the situation is, who I'm trying to counter, who's out there. But both of these abilities aren't too bad. If he's fast enough and you, and you need a defense up, I might look at the ultimate. Otherwise, I'm probably going to go with the special first turn then the ultimate and then you know fill in the uh basics until i can get back around to it so the passive last thing we got here the shatterstar passive force of will 
on self or ally crit, bear yourself and X-Force allies for 10% of this character's max health. Gain 25% crit damage. All allies, all allies gain 10% crit damage. In the meantime, you might want to throw them a shield if you have someone there, just for fun. All X-Factor allies gain an additional 15% crit damage. So uh, T4 is here an additional 10% on the barrier and it gives you on turn heal for 20% of this character's max health. This absolutely is a T4. You need to do this. I don't know if I mentioned it on the ultimate. Ultimate's okay. It's not great T4, but it's not bad. Passive, yes. Definitely yes. This by itself, on turn heal for 20% of this character's max health. Need it, need it, need it, need it. Um, this is one of the first characters that are, it's talking about getting barrier or, um, yeah, I think it's the first one you get barrier on crit. I'm not 100%. I, I'm pretty sure it's barrier on crit. So uh, I think he's the first one on that. So that's kind of interesting and cool. This team seems to be, you know, it's going to be crit related. Uh, you know, again, we'll get a long shot in the other three X Factor characters once we get to them, but we don't know who they're going to be. The crit damage, I, I'd like to know, I assume that this crit damage for X Factor stacks so that they also get 10 plus 15. So they get 25% crit damage. Um, but, you know, I don't know. And again, um, I like that all allies get 10% crit damage. So in the meantime, if you've got this guy up and you're like, well, what am I going to do with him? You know, I have to admit my shield team on war, I've kind of played around with a little bit, putting a weird random fifth person in there. You know, that might be fun to throw him on there. You know, again, he doesn't get some of this, all this other stuff because long shot's not his buddy, but, uh, you know, you, you could still put a defense down on somebody for a couple turns. So that's, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, so the kit... It's okay. It's interesting. Um, I'm going to be for red stars and stats. I'm going to be looking for HP because of the self heal. I'm definitely gonna be looking for damage because, uh, you know, it's, he's uh, all these abilities are damage based abilities. One's got some piercing. The same thing with the, uh, the, the primary target stuff. There's no, there's no, uh, cleansing, but there is a defense down. So you're going to want some focus there. And then besides that, I'm okay. He's got barrier, so I'm not super worried about armor and, uh, well, no, I, I, just armor. I was going to say resistance, but I, you always want your characters to have resistance. So, yeah, so that's the kit. Well, um, we're going to go check out the stats now. Kit's definitely solid, a little bit better than what I was expecting. So let's just look at the stats. Okay, so this is, for anybody who's not aware, I've got this giant stat sheet uh, where I baseline everybody in the game's stats, and then I rank them per uh, stat. And then I get an average stat ranking across the board. And that baseline, I use level 75, seven yellow stars, four red stars, tier 14, 25% star tech, and a passive level four. Uh, you can see Doom is up the top. You know, I have actually haven't done a character review on him yet. I want to wait a little bit. But uh, I have to admit, Mr. Shatterstar, who is just above my head right here, I was surprised he was top 15. Coming in at number 13, right behind Captain Marvel and just in front of Symbiote Spider-Man. I, I just was, what? Like, really? So we talked about that self. And I was on stream a little bit while I'm doing this. And, you know, I was mentioning, well, I'm next to Captain Marvel, but I like Captain Marvel's kit because of her self healing, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, they were, Chat and I were talking and we were saying, well, Captain Marvel, you know, Shatterstar's got a self heal too. I'm like, oh, he does? And again, it's passive. I'm like, yeah, and as we just saw, 20%. So, you know, let's look at his HP here. Ranks 17th. He's got more HP than Captain Marvel. Now, you know, depending on, I forget Captain Marvel's heal, I think it might be 10 or 15%. So he's going to heal more than her, which means on turn, he could be super annoying. You know, he's one of those like, okay, this dude's going to keep healing himself and just not die. All right. Like that's a problem. So love seeing the HP I there. Damage. I mentioned that as well. Rank 27th, that's pretty good. Oh, by the way, it's better than Captain Marvel's damage. So he's going to be hitting harder than her. Again, that's awesome. It, depending on what kind of stat boost you get with your team, it's pretty sick. Now, the armor is lower. I mentioned, I was like, I don't really care because he gets barrier. So if you're getting a lot of crits out there, again, I mentioned, I think it was all ally crits, right? Uh, let's double check that again. All ally crits. On self or ally crit, barrier yourself. So guess who goes a lot? You know, I mentioned shield. You know, I mentioned that you might want to, you know, throw him on shield a little bit. He might build up a barrier on a shield team for war if you want to mess him with there, put him in there. And, and he gives them extra crit damage. Might be fun to play with for a little bit. So I'm not super worried about his armor being low. 
His focus, like I mentioned, you want that to be decent for the defense down. It's ranked 47. That's pretty solid. Resistance, not great, but, you know, um, it's not the worst thing in the world. So I'm kind of like, all right. His speed, 13th, that's pretty good. If there's any source of speed up that comes from the other X factors, he's going to go really early. And you definitely want to get into that point where I'm talking um, with this special where you get that first and put a defense down on somebody and give the uh, ability energy to long shot because you're might going to be able to focus someone down and burn them really quick, which would be awesome. Especially, say, if he goes before, like, Strife and you can defense down Strife and then start nuking him with someone else who might be on X-Factor. That'd be pretty nice. Uh, so, yeah, the speed's 13th. The overall ranking on this guy, 48.8. Like I said, that's just right next to Captain Marvel. Uh, that's pretty solid. And uh, Karnak, again, Karnak stacks, I, they're good. You know, no one really likes them, but they're, they're good technically. You know, and so when you're looking at this 48.8, you know, you're looking at all of these characters are... Oh, sorry. Let's get back over here. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you're looking at, you know, all of these types of characters here are all similar. You know what I mean? It's, you know, Anti-Venom, Ultron, Ebony Maul, Black Bolt, Ghost Rider, Squirrel Girl, Proxima, Karnak, Captain Marvel, Shatterstar, and Symbiote Spider-Man. They're all, those are similar characters stat-wise. That is great, great company, okay? Like, that is, I'm, I'm shocked that he was that good. I'm impressed. I'm glad I bought the offers. Um, I have to admit, I might try to actually level them up a little bit just to throw them on shield defense just for fun. We'll see. So uh, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, like I said, I, I think this guy is solid stat-wise off the bat. If you didn't buy him, I wouldn't lose too much sleep over it because we still don't know what this team's going to be like wholesale. He seems to be good by himself, but again, if he's not, if the rest of the team ends up not being good and he's just good, one good character, you're not going to miss out on anything. So don't, don't stress out if you didn't get any uh, orbs on him or if you didn't buy any offers. Uh, plus, they'll come back around anyway. So, But his stats, they're good. He could be one of the better characters on this team, depending uh, who else comes and what their synergies and passive and all that kind of stuff. So that's all I got. Hopefully, this helps you guys. If you want to come chat on the Discord, link in the description below. Obviously, comment below. Any thoughts, feelings, something I missed. You know, maybe it was something obvious. Like, hey, you totally went over this thing. Let me know. So that way, hopefully, I can, you know, let folks know or change it in the future. Hammer down the like button, notification bell, subscription button, all that kind of stuff. Until next time. I hope you have a wonderful day.